Hey, my name's Nick Hodges. I'm six feet, weigh 175 pounds. I'm fully vaxxed. I can do an English accent. You mean she was pretentious as her name? I bet she was. That photograph I saw of her, she was in a dirndl and a sort of sultry peasant blouse. She looked like one of the badgered wives done by Lloyd Banks. Um, I can play an instrument, keyboard, and I can sing. But I can't see you every night free. I do, I do. When did I join the band? Well, I first was in various bands. Oh, you know, I was like in this one band, the Psychedelics, I was playing guitar and it went well, but you know, we started fighting and it kind of disintegrated. Then I was in this other band, and then this other band, and then I did bass for one band. Then I started singing, and I felt like I was more a soloist, and I sang in a lot of bands. And then one day, just like out of the blue, um, Jeff, he phoned me up, and we went to school together. We were like, from like high school. Well, no, he went to a different grade school. We were like from grade nine. And um, we always like were in the playground. We were hanging out. We were friends from like kids, adolescents. And one day he found my number and he said, hey man, I heard you're in some bands. Do you want to jam? And so we got together, we jammed and we started to vibe and it, the rest was history. You know, um, yeah, my father, yeah, he was a dentist and I guess I got it from him. We were all musical. He used to write songs and he would stay up like all night to distress. And then after school, we'd like run to his dentistry and, you know, he'd be in there like drilling people and he'd come out mouth cancer. This one has mouth cancer. And then, oh, they'd go, he'd shake his head and he'd say, that one has diabetes, like too much sugar. And I remember the parties, like in our beginning stages, like the parties we used to have in the hotel rooms, like 50 people in a room, the drinking, the smoking, the partying, man, it was like heavy. And, you know, I think dental health became so important to me in our lifestyle in rock and roll when our bandmate, Willie, all his teeth one day started to wiggle, practically like almost the whole top row. And his gums were bleeding. And we used to, we used to tell him, like all our bandmates, like floss your teeth, brush your teeth. Like dad taught us, like from when we were young, when we used to go like right after school, we would see him and the disease mouths and the people, like they all got sick. Like dental health became my number one priority for my whole well being. Like I remember when I didn't even brush my teeth after like doing gigs all night, I would feel like, uh, you know, like, it was very important to me. I made it my lifestyle to brush my teeth, take care of my teeth, get checked every three to six months for cavities. And I saw it with our bandmate, like we had to stop touring. Like his whole mouth was like a mess. And then, you know, I got so scared from then and dental health for me has been so important into my lifestyle of just like, it was, it changed my life when I saw what I saw from my dad's practice and from just our lifestyle being rock musicians. Um, yeah, I think the sound of the drill. Yeah, the sound of the drill, that sound of the drill. I wanted to emulate that from my guitar playing. 
but even more so after when I was like singing like You know, it was like, that was in me. That was in me from my dad, from the drill. And yeah, I remember the patients, when I, the secretary one day, the receptionist, she was gone. She couldn't come. She didn't even show up. I don't know, something happened. My dad asked me to like answer the phones. And I would end up like playing um, songs to the patients. And they were clapping. And it was so funny. It was really funny. But, you know, dental health is so important to me. And I've been so lucky to have a family where we had music in our lives. And it's been just amazing. It's been amazing.